In this year of the political outsider, you could make the argument that nobody is more of an outsider than my next guest, so fasten your seatbelts. Or maybe I should fasten my seatbelt. He is none other than Jesse Ventura, the former governor of Minnesota and the author of Jesse Ventura's Marijuana Manifesto. Let's talk about because you're a former Navy SEAL. Yep. Right? There was a forum tonight. Yep. Uh, and they, in front of people who were in the armed services. Yep. What did you make of this? We're going to talk about your book, but what did well, you make well, of this forum? I didn't make anything of it because I didn't watch it. I don't watch what Hillary and Donald do because I'm voting for Gary Johnson. And I'd like to know why Gary Johnson was not included in this forum. Mm -hmm. Why isn't he and, Jill and Dr. Stein being included? Why aren't they being included in the debates? You have two candidates here whose negatives are over 50%. They're disliked heavily. Shouldn't it be a time now for people to be offered an alternative? I Look what happened in Minnesota. I was polling 10% at Labor Day. I was allowed in the debates, and in 60 days I was the governor. Well, Jesse, with all due respect, uh, the country's a much bigger place than Minnesota. And if you'll let me... Television if you'll isn't. Let me, if you'll let me hear, uh, there are millions and millions of people voted for Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. There were, you know, a lot of people didn't vote for Gary Johnson. I like Gary Johnson. He's been on the show. He's a nice guy. He has some great ideas. But in all fairness, people did not, not enough people supported them in order for them to be on a, on a debate stage or on the main ticket. Imagine if that held true, I wouldn't have been governor. I, I'll give you that. Because, because it, Minnesota was at least fair. Yeah. They allowed me to debate, and I defeat them. That's what it's really here. You'll see the Dems and Repubs singing Kumbaya. Yeah. When it's time to keep out the third parties, they'll be in bed together yeah. all the way and get along wonderful in keeping anybody else out of the two-party dictatorship. So you're, Did you catch that? I the heard you. The two-party dictatorship. You, you are a maverick, though. And speaking of the two-party dictatorship, you're a maverick. You're an outsider. Yep. Donald Trump has said he's an outsider. No, that he's he, not. Do you he's think a he's a Republican? Sure. He's running as a Republican, just as Bernie Sanders isn't an independent. He ran. He's a Democrat. I approached Bernie over a year ago thinking I might support him. I got one minute with him. He, put, he shunned me off, but I asked him one important question. I said, Bernie, if you lose, will you continue the movement as an independent or support an independent? He said, no, I'll support Hillary Clinton. Mm -hmm. So right there, I knew he's not an independent. He's a Democrat. Yeah. Trump is now a Republican. Yeah. They're running under those banners. I have never been a Democrat or a Republican, You're and not. I will not vote for a Democrat, and I urge other people not to. They've been in charge 150 years, and look at the mess we have. Mm. And so we should keep them in. And I'll guarantee you this, elect a Democrat or Republican, the wars will continue. Regardless, will be it doesn't matter. Even though tonight Hillary Clinton said, we won't have boots on the ground. That won't matter. You don't think she so. She voted for the Iraq war and now claims it's her worst vote. Well, imagine that. The most important vote you take as a senator to send our men and women to war, you blew it, mm -hmm. and now you want to be have the finger on the button when you already blew it with the Iraq war and voted for it. See, I won't support anyone who supported the Iraq war. All right. Um, I, Let's I, get to my I, book. I, I don't like having you on because you never say how you feel. That's why I don't. <laughs> That's why you do have me on. I, and and I, called, that was that was and, my next thing. It's called ratings points. <laughs> my <laughs> next thing was I'd like to spend some time talking about your book. You yes, actually took absolutely. the words right out of your. Uh, yeah. Let's put it up. It's called Jesse Ventura's Marijuana Manifesto. You've always been in favor of legalizing marijuana. Yes. How would that benefit the country? It will benefit the country. We're talking jobs. We're talking an entire new industry. We've seen that in what's happening in Colorado. We're seeing what's happening in Washington. Washington, the first windfall from it, their judiciary budget fell 15% statewide. That's mammoth. Mm -hmm. Okay, Colorado, they have what, 300 million new dollars to spend on schools and roads because it's legal. You're not spending billions of dollars to stop something that the majority of the American people today want legalized. It's legal in a number of states. Why do you think there are so many It's not really legal. Well, well yeah. No, it's I'll give you the example. Medicinally, it's legal. No, it's not really legal because I could go to Colorado tomorrow with a semi and I could buy as many cigarettes as I could fill that semi with. Mm -hmm. I could go to Colorado and buy booze and mm -hmm. liquor stores and fill the semi up. Yet, I could only go to Colorado and buy one half ounce of marijuana. 
So it is not fully legal. It's being regulated. You're being denied your freedom. And that's the big issue here. The people rising up and demanding from the federal government to legalize it. And especially, there are people out there that need this for medicine. I have a personal investment here. My life would not be the same now if mm -hmm. it weren't for marijuana. Because someone very close to me had a epileptic seizure condition seizing four times a week. I had to deal with it. The yeah. only thing, they put this person on four different pharmaceutical medicines. None of them worked. All had horrible side effects. Went to Colorado illegally at the time. Got medicinal marijuana. This person has not had a seizure now in over two and a half I'm years. Glad, I'm glad your friend is doing well. And you've made your case. And the book is called Jesse Ventura's Marijuana Manifesto. It's available now. Always a pleasure. Thank you. And it won't, <laughs> it's your last time. I'm with RT America. Now. I know. You Say signed goodbye, an exclusive Don. contract. You'll come back on. We'll have you back. Thank you, Jesse. When the contract's over, <laughs> the Russians are calling. Oh, my gosh. It's Jesse. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs>